Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Real Madrid and Croatian international midfielder Luka Modric put in an incredible 120 minute man of the match performance versus Chelsea in the second leg of their Champions League match to send Real Madrid to semifinals. Modric was his usually bustling and hustling self and he was making 10, 20 and 30 meter sprint bursts all the way into extra time. That performance really made me ask myself, is Modric the most fit footballer of all time? That mantle had been firmly in the grasp, in my opinion, of Cristiano Ronaldo up until this point. And Ronaldo is still incredibly fit, don't get me wrong. However, he has tapered his game to his age in terms of decreasing his movement activity up front, in terms of decreasing his pressing as well. However, Modric continues to meet the startling physical demands of being a midfielder in Carlo Ancelotti's system who requires multiple things from his midfielders like tracking runners in defensive transition and then also being the main connector between the back line and the front line and Modric has met those demands incredibly well as evidenced by his performance versus Chelsea and further evidence when you compare his performance to his counterpart Tony Cruz, who is considered relatively fit and durable and has had pretty good longevity but at 32 years old he was still completely knackered from those responsibilities and was taken off for Eduardo Camavinga, whereas Modric, who has similar responsibilities, although of course they're tilted a little bit, was able to play the full 120 minutes. Like I said before, was still incredibly robust fitness-wise into extra time. You might be wondering, how has Modric extended his career this long? And what is the secret to his durability? Well, there really isn't a secret. It's a testament to his planning, discipline, and commitment and habits from day one of his career and even before his career. Longevity and durability, especially on the back end of a career, aren't just a switch that happens overnight. It's built up from days and months and years of those habits and taking care of yourself on the pitch and then off the pitch with your strength and conditioning, with your sleep habits, with your nutrition, with your stress mitigation. And Modric has done that to an incredible degree, which is now manifesting. When players get to around their early 30s, you can really tell which ones have taken care of themselves and which ones have not. And that becomes even more true when talking about mid to late 30s. When it comes to top level fitness, and durability, there's five other players that really come to mind. First is current Chelsea center back Thiago Silva, who at 37 years old is still going quite strong. Although being a center back, the physical demands on his body aren't quite as high on Aluka Modric. Secondly is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who's still playing at a high level at 39 years old, but we've seen in recent years He's had more and more injury woes. Thirdly is Robert Lewandowski, whose regiment that he created with his wife is quite well documented and how he addresses holistically all those facets of what I've already talked about. Fourthly is Lionel Messi, who at 34 years old is still going quite strong. And although he's not often heralded for his fitness and strength and that longevity and durability, he, in my opinion, is the one guy who eventually might be seen as the king of footballing fitness, durability, and longevity, especially considering the demands and responsibilities and attention that he shoulders from opposing opposition. Fifth, and last but not least, is Modric's teammate, Karim Benzema, who is aging like a fine wine, having arguably his best season ever at 34 years old. When Benzema was asked 
what the secret is to that durability and this season. He said simply, it's hard work. I think that really sums up 